Hello and welcome back. Such a beautiful day here today. Today is an exciting day because I'm gonna get some rice fish for the indoor mini pond. But before we do that, I want to go check out some of the outdoor rice fish and feed them. All right, so here's the mini rice fish patio bowl gallery. Look at all the ponds that, oh my goodness, look at them. You can see them all swimming up there. Really nice. That's probably one of my favorite setups. It's so simple. But the rice fish looks so good. And then over here, there's a bunch of small ones. This is the styrofoam box. Look at this, made of styrofoam. And there's all these tiny little babies in there. That's amazing. And then in here, this is mine. Oh man, I need to do maintenance on this because the water gets so green. Should I get more plants for this? Maybe if I get more plants, it'll balance out better. But look how active they are. They must be hungry. And then we'll take a look at some of these. This is also another one of my favorites. Look at them, so colorful. And I love this like green grassland over here. I don't know what the plant is. It's like pearlweed or something, but it's super nice. And then over here, this one has some black rice fish. They look beautiful. Wow, take a look at this. I just realized this, but this is actually our water change bucket. I was wondering why there's this water hyacinth in here. And I just realized that's because there were eggs on them and the little babies are starting to hatch out. Look at that, that right there is a tiny baby. There's another one. Yeah, so these are super easy to breed fish. You just put water hyacinth in the pond, like how you see over here. The rice fish will put their eggs in the roots of the water hyacinth you take them out and then the eggs will hatch in just a couple of days. And now I'm in the mini gallery, gallery, mini studio. Um, I don't know what to call it, but I just call it the mini studio for now. And this is the indoor mini pond that I set up quite a while back. I think it was at the start of this year. And the plants have been doing excellent. This is some type of philodendron. Uh, I've got a Echinodorus in here. I, I don't know exactly what type it is. But I also added one rice fish to this pond a few weeks ago. I took it out from one of my outdoor mini ponds and I moved it into here. And if we look closely, you can see it right there. If it'll focus, come on, focus. Look, you can see it right there, it's moving. Oh, there it goes, yep. So I really like the setup of this one because it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a jungle, like like a mangrove as well. The water level's a bit low, so I'm gonna have to add some water in here before I get more rice fish. And I also wanna move this pond over towards the tank there. Right now it's next to my desk. It's got this little spotlight, which is nice, I think. And I just wanna put it over on that side. be good. Now let's add some water in here. I've got to be honest, I've been neglecting this thing for quite a while to the point where there were mosquitoes um, producing babies in here and you could see the larvae, the mosquito larvae just swimming around and that's why I put this little rice fish in. And the moment I put this little guy in, he started eating everything. Let me see if I have some clips of that. So yes, that little rice fish right there was the savior. He, he or she, I don't know, but that guy ate every single larvae and now there's no more mosquito problems, so that's great. So I've had a lot of questions from you guys asking 
whether mosquitoes would be a problem in these mini ponds, but as long as you have some fish, guppies, rice fish, mollies, they'll eat all the larvae, so you don't have to worry about that. Just have fish in your little mini ponds and everything will be good. And take a look at this. I added this snail in here like three months ago and it's been doing so well. It grew a lot. You can see it's quite a big snail now. And I actually took it out from this tank and I put it in here. And it's just been like the cleanup crew. So we've got one little white rice fish and one nice snail. And now I'm gonna head over to rice fish farm and check out the rice fish selection that they have and hopefully we can bring some back for this mini pond right here. I'm two minutes away from the farm and just check out this view right here. Look. Up in the distance, you can see the airport right there. It's just an amazing view. Take a look at that. It's so much different in person than on camera. And here we are at this rice fish farm. It's pretty amazing. You see the way it's set up. All these tubs right here. And then all the way in the back as well, you've got the blue tubs, the owners right there. Oh, right there. You can see him working on his little ponds. But yeah, it's just an amazing setup. So let's take a look at some of the rice fish that they have. Let's start over here. So this right here, check this out, tricolored. I think this is tricolored. It's pretty amazing. Like one pair of this, or I think the trio, the group of three, is like 80 to $90. Pretty insane. Wow, check this out. This one has eggs on it. Let's see if you can see that. Um, hold on, how do I sh Oh yes, yes, this guy right here. Uh, this girl, look at that, can you see the eggs? That is crazy, that is amazing. Watch this one. Look at that, it's like a white and red, like a kohaku in koi terms, but I have no idea. There's so many different types of variations out here. Look at this. This is like a sparkling white one. Beautiful. Check this out. A little kiddie pool, a swimming pool. And look at all the colors in there. That's amazing. I wonder if we can buy some of these, like a mixed variety of reds, blacks, whites. I think it's kind of nice. All right, so I've decided to select some from the mini pool pond. Uh, it's not the highest quality, but I just wanted some reds and they've got some nice red ones in here. So we're going to select some and put them in the mini pond. I've made it back and I'm taking a look at the rice fish right now and I gotta say he picked out some really beautiful ones. I'll give you a closer look in just a while but check out some of the colors on these guys. And these are I think actually from his cull. So the ones he doesn't want anymore he puts in that little kiddie pool and I just asked him to pick out a few of his best ones and he was so nice he gave these to me so I'm really thankful for that and really happy I got some nice ones and because I'm not trying to breed them I don't really need high grade ones. If I'm trying to breed rice fish which probably I'll do in the future I'll go for some higher grade ones like the tricolor sanshoku but for now these are great and they're lovely look at that guy it's probably my favorite one in here. So currently I'm drip acclimating the fish. I'll show you what my setup looks like. So um, it's just an airline tube connected to a never clog air stone right here. And then at the end of it, I've got this little air valve and I just let it drip so that the fish get acclimated to their new water. So yeah, take a look at them. They're looking really good.
The original white rice fish that was in here from the start, I moved it back outside to its original home. Here, because this is his original home, this is where he came from, and I wanted to put him back with all his friends. So he's back in here, there's a whole bunch of rice fish in here, as you can see, swimming around, so... Yeah, probably one of them, one of those white ones, is the guy that was inside, so... I think he'll be happy that he's back with his friends. And, yeah, maybe we'll give these guys some food right now. I'm really happy with the way this is set up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but... Yeah, everything is looking really nice. I might add a little box filter in the middle just to keep the water moving and to break up any surface film, if there is any in the future. I'm not too worried about the fish jumping out because I've never had any problems with rice fish jumping out. It may still happen, I'm not so sure, we'll see, but for me, I'm just gonna leave it like this. This room is starting to take shape to the way I imagine it to be. Uh, we've kind of got this section complete, but Next up, we've got to work on this. I'm planning on moving this table out and putting it in another room. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time.